Nevada brothels aren't the hot commodity they used to be. Where there were once 34 licensed brothels in the state, there are now only 19, The Guardian reports. With Bordello's closing down on a fairly regular basis, one owner even tried to dump two of his venues on Craigslist, per UPI. Some speculate the shutterings are due to residual effects from the recession or competition from illegal escorts. But Daniel Hernandez writes for The Guardian that it could be something else entirely, a failure to innovate and offer polished customer service. What Hernandez calls the survival of the freakiest could mean anything from theatrical sex, sessions and workspaces, e. g. Rooms set up to play naked we, to skill-sharing seminars, e. g. A sex worker teaching colleagues how to use a prostate massager. Examples of fornication frontrunners include the famous Moonlight Bunny Ranch and what Hernandez calls the Yankee Stadium of Sex Work, Sherry's Ranch, which Hernandez notes boasts a madam who sounded like she attended Stanford Business School. Sherry's attracts a diverse clientele, blue collar, middle class, one percenters, and is said to offer stellar service. One 58-year-old client, a virgin, raves about Sherry's in a blog post. Courtesans correspond with clients about scripts and costumes, often dressing up in cheerleader get-ups or as fictional characters like Princess Leia or Wonder Woman. The food seems good, too. In a four-star Yelp review, customers gush about Sherry's tasty burgers and wraps. Bordellos that don't think outside the box. They'll likely die off as flat-back joints, what one crotchety owner calls a place where the girl lays on her back and gets the money. She doesn't have any charm, any looks. No jewelry. No flash. Animal brothels are a thing of the past in Denmark.